Renee here. I'm back with a couple more critter cards. Um, this, these two cards have a cat and a dog on them, and for the cat and the dog, I use the Paper Pal Pets and their coordinating dies. And then the other die sets that I use are um, the basic cards and then the fancy tags. I use that tag that I used um, on a previous card. So I will just get right into it. Um, the first one we'll make is the dog card and um, get rid of this paper. And like before uh, with my credit cards, these ones are going toward a card drive for children's hospitals um, being put together by Mary Polanco. So I will put her information down in the down in the description bar. So if you're interested in jumping into this card drive, um, that'll have all the information for you. So for the first card, um, I used the um, scallop tag, which I'm gonna cover with one of the hearts, and then this cute little dog. Um, the dog I colored with colored pencil, and this is the way I like to do animals so that they still look like they have fur. I'm gonna pop a little video up here in the top corner so you can see how I did that. Um, it's pretty much just the colored pencil. I flick it on and uh, try to flick it in the direction that the dog's hair would normally grow. And then I use the um, <clears throat> blending pencil from Prismacolor and um, blend it all so that you still get all the flicked um, hair, but it fills in. So hopefully that helps you out. And we've got some sentiments here. And unfortunately, these sentiments are from a retired set, but I'm sure you can find sentiments very similar. So we'll just put this guy together. It should be pretty simple. And hopefully, kid who gets this will be I love dogs <clears throat> and then um, this we're just gonna layer again I would um, normally I would pop it up on um, some foam squares but I'm just not sure um, what exactly we've got going on with this car drive as far as um, dimension goes. Now I do know that um, they are asking that you not use any glitter or um, any any buttons, anything that would be dangerous to a little one. So I figure we'll leave the we'll leave the dimension off of it as well. They'll still like them. They're they're, they're cute. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put this one on here. I'm gonna put this off to the side a little bit and then we'll <clears throat> glue down the dog with some liquid glue. Just a little bit though, you don't want your card um, buckling from too much liquid glue and you don't want it to squish out either. So we'll put that little guy on there. The um, stamp and die set also comes with a ball, um, a fish bowl, a uh, ball of yarn, and then um, a cute little hamster. So I might might try making some of those as well. I'm gonna use that one on the inside of the card. I don't usually put sentiments on the inside, but I think that might be kind of fun because it, the way that the sentiment set is set up, it says you are, and it has the dot, dot, dot. So I think that would work out well. So we'll get that to stick down. You are, and it points you to the inside of the card. Whoops, it moved a little bit on me. Let's make sure we get it down. And then we'll grab a card base. And this one will be a bottom opening card, top folded card. <clears throat> I always I always think it would be nice to, to finish the inside of my cards. If any of you watch um, Amy R., she and she always finishes the inside of her cards and they always look so nice and I think about it and then I don't do it. So let's see if I can partially channel Amy R and put a put a sentiment on the inside of the card. Okay. And this card is done. That was pretty quick. That was really quick. So the card measurements. Um the heart is the largest heart in the in the die set. So that's this set here, and it's the largest one in the die set. The scalloped tag is this one here. Then our yellow base layer 
is five and a quarter, and I think it's four by five and a quarter by four. So the polka dot is five by three and three quarters. And this I just stamped it and then I hand cut it out. So really easy. And these are leftover papers from the, um, this is from So Happy, and this is from um, Something Fierce. Okay, so then here is the cat card. And with the cat card, I took the sentiment, you're perific, from this stamp set. I almost used these cats. I love that fat cat. He is so, so just so funny. Um, so I almost used this set, um, but I decided to go ahead and go with the one that I had the um, die for, because I want to make several of these. So, and these measurements are exactly the same measurements as the last card. And then for the sentiment, I actually um, heat embossed it with, um, it's from Recollections White Detail. Um, I think it's called Snow. So just any white um, embossing powder would work fine if you wanted to do that. So we'll go ahead and put this together. <clears throat> and this paper um, is also from um, the So Happy um, kit. This was... These were more scraps. So once I get done with all of these different cards, um, I'll let you know how many how many extra cards I got out of that out of that kit. Because so far I've still got quite a bit of uh, scraps left. So sorry about the squeaking tape glider. Seems like that's an always thing. I'm always apologizing for my squeaking tape glider. And I think and you'll see that when I put the heart on, um, I am covering up the hole. So even though it's a tag, I can still use it for the outside of this heart. And I thought it really added something um, to the whole dimension of the card without giving it, you know, dimension like you would get with, uh, with some foam tape. So we're going to put this one up. we got to put it up pretty far in the corner so that we can get this bannered um, sentiment on. And put some glue. Again, don't put too much. Don't want to sploosh out. Sploosh. That reminds me of that movie, um, Holes. If you haven't seen it, that's really funny. And they, I think they called the, uh, the that drink that kept you from being killed by the lizards, um, sploosh, I think. <clears throat> At least that's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to claim today. Now I'm going to have to watch the movie. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on. I just cut a banner on the end really easy. You just um, make a cut in the very middle and then each side each side meets it. Um, I've done that done that technique quite a few times in my card in my my um, scrapbooking. so check out some of my scrapbooking videos and you'll see me do that. Okay, we're gonna put this on a card and with that, all the cards are done. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit subscribe and like and um, leave me a comment if you have any comments about anything. And do check out Mary's video with more information on the, um, the card drive. Um, it's a really, really great thing. And I'd love to see Mary just get so many cards. She doesn't know what to do with them all. So, well, thank you so much and uh, have a great day. Bye.